Hi everyone, Tams here. Welcome back to another little chat. Uh, I thought I'd take the opportunity to wrap up July and to follow up on a tea chat I did a couple of weeks ago. Um, I wanted to thank you all so much for the encouragement to do more videos. And I read all your comments and I think I responded to almost everything or reacted to it. And I tried to be very creative and I moved forward with creating some videos. So I will link up here that uh, the playlist for my garden vlogs for my garden journal and that is this guy right here. And I also made some time to follow up on the Bon Vivant on a Budget topic that I had started last year and a lot of you said you really like that. So I had promised a pantry uh, tour because I had talked about uh, meal planning and making your own meals at home as part of the good life. So I will link that up, up here somewhere as well as down below uh, so that you can see what I've done so far this month. So again, thank you so much for the encouragement. Thank you for the feedback. I really appreciate it. It really inspired me to do something a little different and a little creative, and I have very much enjoyed the process. So just to recap July since that last tea chat, I have really paid attention to the comments that have been on the videos that I've made since then, and I thought I would address a few frequently asked questions. And uh, people seem to be interested in the sketches that I am doing at the end of the video. Um, some of you have commented on how confident I seem to be with my sketches. I want to uh, tell you a little trick, okay? There's a reason why I really enjoy the Midori Traveler's Notebook insert that I do. So I have shared this many times before, but I use the insert 019. And I'm going to try to put this up on the screen here so you can see. So you can see that one half is the calendar side where I log the events. And then this side where I sketch has grid paper. And I don't know, it may be just me, but grid paper gives me quite a bit of confidence. Um, there's a lot that grid paper can do to help you when you're a beginning sketcher artist at least I find that now I've shared before that I went to engineering school and we had to sketch out a lot of little diagrams and things like that and we used grid paper so it may come from that the other thing I would tell you is practice 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 and that is why I do a nature journal garden journal uh, and again I if you saw the birds I'll show you a couple of sketches of the birds um, Whenever you see me sketching birds, okay, I am following uh, John Muir Laws, and I will link below. He's got some videos on YouTube, and he also has a book on nature journaling, and I've been studying that and using that as a guide. I've, I have found it to be quite helpful, so I'll list that below. Thank you for asking, and thank you for thinking that I was so confident. Uh, honestly, I'm just... Um, I probably am more diligent than most people because I just keep doing it. I don't really care if things look bad because I've noticed that I could go a couple of weeks with things not looking very good in terms of my illustration, but it's the practice and it can be that fourth or fifth time where I may level up and really get something right. So it's really the practice if that helps at all. I also wanted to follow up on the style of video I am currently doing for uh, the garden log and also the Bon, bon, bon Vivant on a budget. Uh, that's something I'm experimenting with. It seems to be going well. People have responded to it. I appreciate that. I'm keeping them very short and that is based on just feedback overall. I've gotten on all videos over time. Uh, what I'll try to do is the tea chats. I um, am hoping to do a tea chat once a month where I can just ramble on, not worry about the time, answer some of your questions, um, and just not be pressured to keep things within a, short, a certain time span. 
but the videos in between I am trying to keep short just based on what I've heard and the habits of people out there so I'm trying to keep them under five minutes uh, five to ten minutes uh, no more than ten minutes at least uh, so I do plan to keep on with the garden log every week for the next for August uh, because that prompts me to actually get things done in the garden and uh, maybe one Bon Vivant on a budget uh, video and if I have time to do another type of video I thought I'd do something here in the studio uh, since that seems to be of interest to people some people did ask that I do a DIY again I have shared that in addition to regular editing and things like that the DIYs do take me a little longer I'm going to try to figure out a way to get that organized and make that uh, a short process as well but I don't know it's just probably the way I'm wired for some reason those videos take me a long time and I always feel quite a bit of pressure to have so many things planned out and so much organized and then that's an addi addition to the filming and editing and all the other things that come with videos so I hope you understand but we'll see if I can come up with something I do have some vacation time planned in August and I may experiment a little bit if I have time Okay, some of you did ask about the reading and the books and things like that. I have not shared a whole lot about that, but I thought I would share with you the latest book I read for my book club, and it's The Alice Network. I love this book. I read it in like two nights. It was a quick read for me. I really enjoyed it, and it's been a while since I've really been engrossed in a book, so I thought I would pass this along. It's been out for a while. It's part of the... Reese Witherspoon Book Club, which I don't really follow or know that much about, but this was a good pick in my opinion, and I enjoyed it so much that I want to pass it along, so if anyone is interested in reading this, if you'll leave a comment below, I'll take the people that are interested and I'll do a little drawing, and I'll pass this on to you, so if you're interested, let me know. I'm happy to share this. I enjoyed it very much. I thought I'd share in these tea chat videos. Uh, I know in the past I have shared some tips and tricks and things that are uh, on my radar and things that are my favorites. And I thought I would expand a little bit on that tonight and let you know that uh, really in the world of gardening, letter writing and books and art, um, the person that has been in the forefront of my mind uh, for the past few weeks has been Tasha Tudor. Um, I first learned about Tasha Tudor from watching a channel that I really enjoy called The Daily Connoisseur and I'll link her channel below uh, in the video where she first introduced me to Tasha Tudor. Uh, I did not realize that Tasha Tudor had been a part of my life <laughs> since I was a little girl because she did a lot of illustrations for books that I grew up reading like The Secret Garden. Um, but I did not know that she had, had created a world of her own and I have been introduced to that this year and I am just in love with this world. I'm so excited. I'm even collecting a lot of her books and I started this month with, um, these, are, these are children's books but they're beautifully illustrated. Um, so I, I started with Around the Year and a time to keep because these are all about following the seasons of the year and the holidays and they're just absolutely beautiful and they are they really just capture celebrating life and you may see a little more Tasha Tudor inspired uh, content in some of my future videos and um, if you are not familiar with her and you happen to have Amazon Prime uh, there is currently a documentary. Uh, there's two documentaries. One of them is available on Amazon Prime now if you have the subscription. And then the other one, I think you have to rent it for like a couple bucks or whatever. But they go into great detail about her lifestyle, her home, her New England home, her gardens, which are amazing. She does a lot of homesteading. And it's just absolutely beautiful. Her life as an artist, it's almost like her entire life is art. <laughs> and uh, she was a letter writer. She created something called Sparrow Post. 
uh, during the Valentine season, and I'll save that for later because I'm going to try to weave that in at some later point, but she was a huge letter writer. She kept a garden. She was a writer. She was an artist. She was a creator. She made some beautiful, beautiful pieces of art. I have just um, really gone down the rabbit hole with Tatcha. Tasha Tudor. I find her to be quite the kindred spirit. And that's about all I have to say for July. Today is July 31st. It is a new moon, so be sure to set your intentions. We also, if you're like me and you enjoy following the seasons and the old uh, Celtic wheel of the year, um, we have just started a uh, new season tonight. And um, it's a great time for new ideas, uh, new intentions, intentions, and starting fresh. So I'm very excited about that. Looking into August, here's what I am planning. We'll see if I can bring these things to fruition in the form of a video to share with you. But uh, I will continue, like I said, to uh, do more projects in my garden. And I'll try to capture those in the weekly vlog video. I'm also planning a staycation, and I may be sharing some things with you about that. And I have quite a few home improvement projects that are happening. And since people seem to enjoy the garden uh, makeovers and the home improvement projects, um, I will see what I can do with that footage. Um, and speaking of home improvement, yes, I did see that many of you wanted to know about my pressure washer, <laughs> which has nothing to do with stationery or books or reading or creativity or anything like that. But because so many people asked about the pressure washer, I did, I did a lot of research on that. I needed something that was very lightweight and easy to use because I wanted to take care of some pressure washing projects myself throughout the year so I found one that was very highly rated had great reviews and I will link it below below for those of you that are interested in that sort of thing but uh, this is not going to turn into a uh, pressure washing uh, channel but I'm happy to share with you uh, the one that I am using and I have nothing but good things to say about it so far um, I've used it quite a bit and I have found it to be um, very easy to use. And that's all I have for this month. Again, I appreciate your feedback so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the encouragement. You guys are awesome. Because you have given me this encouragement, it's why I have uh, really moved forward with doing some different things with my videos and I am enjoying it quite a bit. So I'll see you next month. Thanks a lot.